Shane, you seem to see the ball quite well there in that morning session. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, certainly nice to be able to get a few few more runs today. Um, yeah, it's a very nice wicket. For a day one wicket, there wasn't too much movement, um, which made it pretty easy with a or easier anyway compared to what it can be here in England with with a new ball. It didn't really seem around too much. Um, so yeah, it's nice to be able to get the get the innings going. That's for sure. You made a very emphatic couple of very emphatic statements over the last week or so about opening the batting. Obviously, with the 90 and now a century, what is it about opening the batting that uh, you enjoy so much? Um, well, it's pro probably just a challenge of facing um, the, their best bowlers with uh, with a new ball. It's probably something that I feel like my game's well equipped to, to handle that now. Um, with the experience that I've been lucky enough to have from, from 2009 onwards, um, I feel like my game's more suited to, to opening the batting, um, facing the quicks and starting against quick bowling especially. So it certainly was a lot of fun out there and batting with Chris Rogers today was... Um, my first experience of batting with him and certainly we had a good start anyway so hopefully um, as an opening combination we can um, continue that on for, for quite a while. Um, yeah, can you just expand on batting with Chris and, and um, I suppose the, the combination, the contrasting styles, and is that the formula that you, know, you think can be successful? That you can play with freedom and, and he can sort of just accumulate? Yeah, I think that's, um, well, that's how I'm always going to play anyway. Um, Especially, but it was it was great to be able to bat with with Chris. He's certainly a very experienced uh, and knowledgeable cricketer, and to be able to to be able to bat with him, he certainly kept me going through a few few periods of time, especially, and um, just how he's able to sum up conditions and continue to um, well just pro provide his knowledge that he's got while while we're out batting. I th I thought it was, you know, certainly he gave me a, a few really good pointers out there at, at certain times, um, especially early on with the, him understanding the English conditions are, you know, even better than better than I do. So, uh, yeah, I really, I really enjoyed batting with it. Something that, I suppose my my combination with Simon Cadditch in the past was maybe along similar sort of lines. So, um, it was, yeah, it was really nice to be able to just get a, get a good partnership going the first time we had a chance to bat together. Can you just read how you are feeling, like fitness and form-wise? Is this the best you've felt in a long time? Batting-wise, yeah, it's as good as I've um, as good as I've felt at this point in time. I felt like even over the last six months, even though in Test cricket especially, I haven't been able to score the runs that I've that I've wanted. I've actually felt like my batting, the things that I've worked on with my batting, had, had been coming together. I just hadn't been able to really put them into into practice especially in the test matches so I definitely feel like my game I've been able to sort of iron out a few of the issues that I felt I had over the previous year or so so um, you never know it's not going to guarantee me success that's for sure but I feel like batting wise I'm in a, I'm in a really good place um, physically it's been good to have a, a little bit of a break physically from bowling um, even in the last week just to be able to make sure that physically I'm as fresh as I, I can be going into the, the test matches that we've got to so hopefully be able to contribute the way I can with the ball as well. Do you feel the challenge of facing the new ball, Shane, setting the pace at the top of the order and the stamp of the innings brings out the best in you? Well, it certainly brings out the best in my personality, I suppose. That's what I, uh, I certainly do enjoy. It really does get me up and going. Uh, every time I go out and open the batting is, is being able to face a brand new ball. It's always, I always know that it's going to be doing something, whether it's swing or seam. Uh, the bowls are also at their freshest as well, so um, yeah, I certainly it certainly gets gets my blood going and, and gets my mind switched on immediately as well. So um, those few combinations, um, you know, really do bring out the the best in me as a batsman. Um, so I can do it for longer periods of time. Oh, it certainly is. Yeah, it, it is over since I opened here in in 2009. It's certainly the place where I've enjoyed batting the most. It's certainly um, it's it's got the best out of me as as a player, and that was really just from the opportunity that I got in 2009. I would never have known that I was really built as an opening opening batsman, apart from in one days and 2020s. But um, yeah, the longer version of the game certainly a little bit different. But it is a place where I, I really like batting now. Um, Shane, a couple of run-outs and I know the second one was a bit unfortunate when he tripped over, but um, are those little things the sorts of things you're going to have to get right as a team in order to go well against England? Oh yeah, there's absolutely no doubt and I um, certainly can't really comment too much on um, running between wickets because I've been involved in quite a few run-outs in the past. So. Um, but it is it is very important. You can't We can't afford for our our you know, best batsman and our better batsman being, being run-out. It's... 
it's certainly a tough enough job to be able to bat for long periods of time, let alone giving um, the opposition some you know, one or two wickets. So, yeah, it's certainly something we, we will continue to be conscious of, and myself as well. It's a slight uh, shuffle in the batting order. Are we to read anything into Michael Clark um, going up there? Uh, oh, look, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, Michael batted um, for him the last game as well, so. But I'm. I'm not sure at all. I know. Um, in the end, like we all are, we're all just going to. We'll fit into what the the captain and the coach want want the uh, want for the team and what they think is a is the best position for for everyone individually to to get the best out of us as a batting group. So, um, I can't. Um, confirm or deny either either way at the moment because <laughs> I'm not I'm not privy to those conversations.